Hello everyone, it is Thursday, January 23rd. I can't believe January is almost over yet. It's going by really fast. Um, this video is just going to be a few various updates. Um, first of all, I wanted just to talk about, because um, I told you guys I went to the doctor because I had a cyst and it's doing so much better. I'm really happy that I went to the doctor. And um, in France, the insurance is pretty good, so I've heard a lot of French people go to the doctor for anything that they have a problem with right away and um, I guess it has its benefits. I wish I had gone sooner but I was kind of hoping that it would go away because I didn't know what the problem was at first. But um, I finished all the antibiotics that she gave me and it really seemed to help so I'm really glad that I went to the doctor. Honestly I don't, if I hadn't gone I don't know what I would have done because it was really painful. <laughs> Um, the next update is, oh, and as far as the um, the insurance, I haven't received any money back yet, so when I do, I'll let you guys know how much of it was covered by the insurance and all of that, but for now, I haven't received any reimbursements yet. Um, next subject is the CAF. You, I think I talked about this. I made a separate video on this, I think. No, I don't remember, but I feel like I mentioned it. It's the um, the money for your housing that you can apply to, so I finally finished that today, just now. And I went and turned in all of my paperwork. And um, basically, you tell them how much you get paid, you tell them how much your rent is, and then you have to fill out some tax documents and that type of thing. And then, based on how much money you make and how much your rent is, they will give you a certain amount of money to help with your rent. So I don't know how much it's going to be yet, but I got all the paperwork submitted. And she said they will send me some information in the mail where I can log on to their website and set it up. So that's the next step. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, and um, so then I want to just talk about what I've been teaching my students about this week. So I'm going to try and be telling you guys what I'm teaching them a bit more because I feel like I haven't really mentioned it a lot. This week I was talking to my students about the school system in the U.S. Um, this week and last week I talked about this. And a lot of them seem to be very interested in this. Um, the younger students were very interested in things like the differences of the time. So I told them at my high school we started at 7.50 and we finished at like 2.30 or so. And they were like horrified, like that's not fair, we have to finish at 5 o'clock. And it was really funny. Um, the older students were really interested in the different kinds of classes you could take and that type of thing. And um, so last week I had taught some of my classes about the school systems, and then this week I asked a few of them to tell me what they could remember, the differences between the French and U.S. school system. And I had one class on Monday that was just awful. They didn't remember anything, and none of them kept their notes or even took notes, a lot of them, and it was just really horrible. But my class on Wednesday, I tried the same activity with them, and they did great. They remembered so many more things than I thought they would remember. I was really impressed. And it's really interesting because those two classes, they're studying the same thing. They're both in the electronics technology program at this um, high school. But the class that remembered everything was the first year students. And the class that totally slacked off and didn't remember anything was the same um, class, but the second year students. So they're studying the exact same thing, have all the exact same classes, but a level higher so I was just a little I was really surprised that they did so horribly and then the class underneath them did a really great job and they were really motivated. Um, this week with some of my older students I talked about university but I don't think I'll be discussing university with the younger students just because it's so far away for them I don't think they would be as interested in it even the class of older students I had this morning didn't seem that interested my class on, on Tuesday that I um, discussed it with, they were seemed quite interested in it. Um, but I think it just depends on the class and whether or not the students in the class want to go to university, because if they already know they don't want to go to university, they're not going to be interested to learn about university in another country. Like, it's just not really anything to, that has anything to do with them. Um, all right, so that's about it for the school updates, for the lessons. Then um, last weekend, I went to Karnak and I'll be doing a separate video about my trip so you guys can watch out for that but I just wanted to talk about it really quick um, to update you guys. So I stayed in Ore with my friend who lives there and then we took a bus to Karnak and um, it wasn't too far away, it was like 30 minutes, 40 minutes by bus 
and it wasn't very expensive either. It was like six euros round trip, and I think you can actually get it cheaper. Um, I don't think we went the best way to buy the tickets. If you buy them on the bus, I think it's only two euros each way, and we bought them in advance, and they were like three something each way. Um, but it was really nice. This city is known for these rock formations. Um, I have a postcard I'll show you guys. And I did take videos and pictures, but I don't, I'm not going to be editing this video. So here's a postcard of the rock formation things. Well, they're not formations. They're obviously man made, man, <laughs> uh, man made structures. And, um, similar to the concept of Stonehenge, like they don't know how the people who created these had the technology to put these rocks up like that because they're so big and heavy. And why would they do this? They're like, um, there, there are several different sites in Karnak where they have them. We only went to one because we were walking and they're quite spread out, but I think they're all the same, really. You don't need to see all of them. But it was really cool to see that. Um, and then we went to the beach also, which is what my favorite thing. I love the beach. And I just wanted to show you guys what I found. I found this really cool big giant clam shell. I've never found one like this that's like intact and you can open it. I was really excited. Um, and then I found this and I didn't know what it was at first. I'll show it to you guys. Um, and so I posted a picture on Facebook and asked my friends what it was. And one of them told me it's a sea urchin. So, or it was a sea urchin. It's a dead sea urchin. I have a little collection of shells on my shelf, so I added those to it. Um, this weekend, I am going to have a friend come stay with me here. And I think she's coming tomorrow evening. And we're going to make cookies, I believe, because my grandma sent me some, uh, she gave me at Christmas time some cookie cutters, and they're shaped like Michigan. So I'm going to make some Michigan cookies. And then on Saturday, I have invited one of my classes to come have dinner at my house. So that should be interesting. It's 10 students, and then I've also invited about four or five friends. So I'll have a lot of people in my apartment and um, I'm sorry I'm a little nervous because that's a lot of people and it's going to be crowded and I don't know if I'm going to have enough chairs so we'll have to see how that goes but I'm gonna try and make some video maybe of the party and you know, the party the dinner um, I'm gonna be making some American food so I brought back boxed macaroni and cheese just I have made macaroni and cheese like from scratch with like um, fresh cheese and made a sauce um, for another party that a friend of mine had and it came out really good but I think the boxed macaroni and cheese is such a staple of like American culture food because it just I think it's mo much more popular and I think it's it's not it's pretty good so I wanted my students to be able to try that and um, then I brought some sloppy joe sauce, so I'm going to be making sloppy joes. I brought some jello, so I might make a jello dessert, but I'm not sure yet because um, I'm going to make the cookies, so I don't know if we'll need both or not. So we'll see. I also brought a bunch of American candy. Um, I brought Reese's, Nerds, Laffy Taffy because they have the jokes on them. I thought that would be fun. And I gave them some in class, but not all of them. Um, and what else did I bring? I brought um, Cheese Whiz because one of my friends here had asked me if that really existed. And I said, of course it does. I'll bring you some. So I brought some Cheese Whiz. And um, I, I mean, I don't like Cheese Whiz, but I think it's interesting because they have nothing like that in France. And I brought a jar of peanut butter and jelly mixed like together by the brand Goopers. And some little peanut butter things. I think that's it. And some beef jerky, but I ate most of it <laughs> because I love beef jerky. So And Twizzlers. That was one thing that my friends had requested was Twizzlers. So I'm going to be doing that this weekend. Other than that, I don't really have plans for the weekend. Just going to hang out with my friend who's going to be staying here. So it should be really fun, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.